They're fancy, fun, and dramatic. Love them. Can't live without them. It's the way they make women feel. Sexier in them, a little bit more polished. Oh my goodness, I wear her heels every day. In fact, I only own one pair of low shoes. The heel. Usually in between a three and a four inch heel. The bigger the better. Four, maybe four and a half. As high as I can get it. <laughs> Even if it means a plump for their pump. Women love their high heels. No matter what, they're gonna wear them. But over time, the padding on the balls of your feet can wear down. And when you squeeze 26 bones, 32 joints, and 103 ligaments into a tight, narrow shoe with a back-breaking arch, ouch, not anymore. It does make a significant difference. It is a dermafiller injection made of polylactic acid and feels like... A gummy bear. Dr. Kerry Zhang first sterilizes the area, next sprays a cold, numbing solution, then in goes the shot, four to five injections per foot. We inject, we inject in, and we inject when we're pulling out so that where the needle was, it fills it in with the fluid. The result? The patient should feel like they're walking on a cushion. For up to a year and a half, no surgery. We're now plumped up. This is the only time you can really tell a woman you plumped up nicely. Or how about a lube job? That's what Dr. Daniel Shapiro calls it. From, you know, Louboutin shoes. Same concept, but different tissue fillers like Restylane, Juvederm, and Radiaz mm -hmm. for that long-lasting lift. But some women are taking it up another notch. I've always had the Kinko label. Jessica Thompson has always had a problem zipping up boots. My calf areas are really big, and like when I am um, putting on sandals, I'm really good here, and then I get about right here, and I have no luck. I have no luck. Um, I have to go for more, generally the stretchier type of boot. So she's considering liposuction for legs, a request Dr. Shapiro is seeing more and more. Excellent. I do something called Baser High Definition Liposuction uh, that is something that I learned in South America. And basically what that does is it helps tighten the skin along with contouring uh, the fat to bring out the, the shape of the muscle body. Why are people wanting these procedures? A lot of it has to do with fashion. A lot of these, you know, high, sexy boots have been in style for, you know, for three, four years now. And, and I do see more people now coming in that, that request the ability to have the freedom um, to wear those styles. So, yes, I think that we see it more commonly, and I think there's a correlation with, with fashion. Even if it means going to the extreme. Just to be able to pull off that, that, that look of oversized sweaters and skinny jeans and riding boots. Other extreme measures involve surgery to change the appearance of the foot strictly for cosmetic reasons. Now, the American Orthopedic Foot and Ankle Society frowns on that practice, warning the risks far outweigh the benefits.